It's David Wow here and we've got some massive updates coming to Japan including some sick looking new characters, a much anticipated new location and a shocking new upgrade not just for our boy Aldo but other classic characters too. But there's a catch, keep watching to find out. Like and subscribe and a huge shout out to someweirdo237 and the unofficial reddit community for translating a bunch of the Japan stream. Of course there are some spoilers ahead. You can tell the team at WFS are doing some crazy overtime for us because right after Apocrypha and while we've got the epic main story updates, we now have a new saga tentatively translated as Gaiyu Island and Clift Crest, the story of the Dragon Princess. It'll be a three part saga, all with a new theme song and soundtrack. Fantastic artwork, new game mechanics, new characters and a giant dragon, which I'm guessing has giant private parts which we'll never see. From the trailer, it looks like we'll be seeing some familiar faces like Yiyo, Leclerc and Tiramisu, so if you pulled her lately, maybe you don't feel so bad. In terms of new characters, we're getting the tentatively named Frodia, Sirius, Luze, Sazanka and the topless Mr. Sixpack Utsuhara. You do not want to mess with that guy in a parking lot. From what we've been teased so far, out of these new characters, it looks like we'll be able to play as Luze, a dragon slayer warrior princess and the free character of the campaign who looks suspiciously like an alter version of Elga. We'll also be getting a long haired husbando, Sirius. They also shocked us with another new character with interesting artwork, more on him soon because first you've got to hear about this new mechanic that will make you not feel too bad for pulling old characters when you do your banner pulls. Firstly, our Aldo will be the first character who will be able to reach level 100 instead of the standard level 80 cap. I don't have all the information on this yet but to reach level 100 won't actually be that easy. It seems part of the new level 100 system is the stellar board and you can only unlock a lot of this board if you reach at least 80 light or shadow points. If you want to prepare for this, I guess it's time to start grinding out your light and shadow points my friends. For some easy to understand tips, check my guide after this video which I've linked for you in the description. With the stellar board we get new battle skills, with the update we get a new attack gauge called stellar burst, characters have more battle dialogue and as mentioned, Aldo will be the first to get this new boost, but it won't be that easy. On top of getting his light points to 80, it looks like you need to get an item unlocked by a new set of astral archive tasks to receive it. Once again, for the new players, I've linked a guide to the astral archive just for you. After all though, one of my first favorite characters, Suzette, will be getting this upgrade followed by Tsukiha. Speaking of Tsukiha, we'll be getting a Tsukiha true manifest followed by Azami Astral Archives. Last but not least, we'll be getting one more new character. The dude is a samurai but from the future and is tentatively named Oboro. So this time around we're getting more husbandos than waifus, what do you think about that? More info on all of this as it comes to global, 2024 isn't just going to be a big year for another Eden but for JRPGs in general, we've had an awesome run so far, next year is just going to be epic, there's a lot coming your way, I hope you all have some free time, I'll be doing more content.